Hello and welcome back to a brand new episode of Hermitcraft Season 4 Me Fall Symmetry and today we're on a horse because I thought, you know what, oh wait a second, what's this? Blue District Resident... Oh, is someone doing that? That could be spoilers, but if it is, I'm sorry, I can't really help it. Trying to half pre-record, half fail at doing so because I'm away this weekend, as you guys may or may not know. I'm going to be going to another convention uh, called Minevention. <laughs> Um, which should be pretty awesome and cool. So that's the green district. This is again the blue district. I guess they're either either side, which should be cool. And then we've got a white one there, which is impulses. My multicolored beacon of awesomeness over there, which is pretty cool. And I wanted to head to the brown district, which is all the way over this way. So I'm going to go over there, meet you guys there. And oh, I should have brought some diamonds with me. I've got an ender chest. Aha. Good. Because I have heard from someone that there may or may not be an iron shop. So I'm heading right over there, straight at the beginning of the episode, to go and get a whole bunch of iron. I'm excited, guys. We finally got iron on the server. Woo! Aha, so here it is, next to my chicken. Of which, if we get off the horse, if we get off the horse, I was shifting, dude. Why, why couldn't I get off you? Oh, there's someone over there, I can see a name. Azuma's under the ground somewhere. Saying that, wait a second, he's under the ground somewhere. Oh, he's under the shop, okay. I wasn't sure. I was like, the Sapling Society thingy, my Bob is here. Uh, interesting. Okay, gotta be careful. Gotta be careful. Gotta keep an eye on those, those darn log fellas over there. So yeah. So welcome to Iron Works. Still haven't picked up diamonds, but we're gonna have a quick look. I'm guessing they're for diamonds. One diamond for sixty-four bars. Do Whoa. Someone's been, dude. These these are these are selling out. These are selling out fast, guys. Oh, dude, they are selling out fast. I think they they must have all been full of iron. That is craziness. This wall is free. Take a few if you need them. Oh, I might have to take a few. Just spare armors and spare swords and stuff. Just 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 a few of them. Just a few. Just to have in my storage ready to roll it means I don't need to make it out of this. Not that I'm quite sure exactly what I need yet. One diamond for three anvils. That is not bad. I'm going to buy a few of those. I'm going to buy a couple of these. Four diamonds for 64 pistons. Oh, and then one of each of those probably. Because then if I have any pistons, I've got a million of them. I'm good. Because <laughs> I rarely use them. But when I do use them, I hate crafting them. So that's probably quite good. So not only that, we do have cups craniums over here. Looking pretty awesome. I've been in here when it was being done. There's a heartbeat. That's a bit terrifying. Also, I didn't realise you could do this with a head where you can have it powered completely. But I don't think he actually has any heads for sale yet. I definitely saw something come out of something in, in a video or something at some point. <laughs> something at some point. Where did I put my horse? I've completely lost him. He's done that thing where he goes invisible again, hasn't he? I'm pretty sure he has. That or I've been an idiot. There's Zuma. He could probably see my horse. He's probably going to take it from me or something. But not only those two have got one over there, which I haven't seen a video on yet, so I'm not going to show it. And uh, I think that's probably it. Although, this one over here, this massive one here... Which I'm waiting to hear back from from Azuma, who's I think disappeared somewhere. It's gonna hopefully look a little bit different pretty soon. So we might be working on this today. I'm gonna wait and hear back from Azuma, but I've got the book on me, the one order about making the gardens around here look pretty amazing. And I thought, you know, since I'm gonna be live streaming today, and since I need to do a project that doesn't require as much planning, since I'm running out of time before I go away to record this for you guys, um. Yeah, we would do something pretty cool. And I'm thinking that I'll only do like a couple of these and then another time do another couple because it's going to just take a long while. I don't know. It depends how long it, I guess it takes. But the one thing I do need a lot is uh, dirt, which I've got over at my chicken place <laughs> since um, people have been buying chicken with dirt. Um, and I need to cover this over and stuff. So we're probably going to do that first. I'm going to spend some time doing that before my stream. And then we're going to probably... Try and work out what kind of things. I'm going to probably go up over to a creative world, build like a custom tree for it, build, you know, a little fountain or a pond or something, and just work out a few different options for things. And I'm sure Azum's going to like it either way. Just, just kind of, you know. It's obviously something that he doesn't necessarily want to do since he gave me the task, I guess. But yeah, it looks like a pretty cool idea. And there's already quite a lot of grass here, which is quite nice. So I can, I can use that. Awesome. Let's get on with it. Oh, wait a second. 
Also, I completely forgot to mention, but Azuma asked me the other day if he could use this. It wasn't properly set up. My stalls that I built on a live stream. I need to build more of them. I need to add a roof to this one. But uh, he's added a stone shop, which I'm not sure if is Skull. Is it Skull the owner of the silk touch shop? I'm not 100%. But I'm not sure if he's going to be too keen on this, because six, six stacks of stone for one diamond. To be honest, I should probably do exactly the same, because, yeah, well, I've got a lot of stone as well. Cobblestone is one diamond for four stacks. Interesting, interesting. It's always handy to keep hold of, though, to be honest, for me. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll... Maybe we won't sell it for now. Maybe when we get a big underground base we'll do that and we'll do it even cheaper than that. But for now, I think I'm going to hold on to it. But yeah, let's get on with some stuff. Well, I don't know about you guys, but that doesn't look safe at all. Oh no! Okay, please don't come for me. Bad zombie. Bad zombie. Why is this not lit up? Dang it. Okay, so I just left. <laughs> I just left my horse in here. I got off him. Like, left him properly there. Uh... <laughs> he just walked straight out. Look, look at GG. GG Azuma. <laughs> he just walks out. My horse is just like, you know what? <laughs> Wait a second. Slow clap. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where it wants to go. Hmm. <laughs> That's odd. <laughs> where, where is my horse going? Uh. It's gone. Uh. I don't know what's up with my horse. My horse is broken. I think maybe my horse is broken. I don't know. I think Azuma is confused. Maybe. <laughs> I'll keep an eye on it. <laughs> that is so strange. That is so, so strange. I thought this would be fine. Because it's just big enough just so that you can uh, go through. But yeah, I found a fault in your design, Azuma. There we go. <laughs> nice and safe. Stay there now, mister. Stay there. I'm watching you. Uh, Azuma just said something might be important. Is he going to show me something secretive? <gasps> He's definitely making something down here. Yeah, I knew he was making something. I could see the obsidian. He's going to dig this all back. Interesting. Okay, basically, like, I think right above this is where I'm digging. So I think it's just, it's kind of close. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> For height reasons. Yeah. Oh. Uh, be careful. The want the water removed. <laughs> I'm basically a, a, just a contractor now. Just like I'm just be like, it's just like yeah, just yeah, remove the wall while you're at it. You know, just maybe build me a shed. Uh, <laughs> I should definitely build like a garden shed. Uh, does he want the water removed? I think so. I like the idea of a pond. Uh, one higher, maybe. Um, if it's shallow, that could work. Like on this level, could work like that. That could work on this level. I'll do it one side. I'll do one pond. Sweet. Okay, that sounds good. And I, it, yeah, I, I like the idea of having it go underneath and then come back out or something. But I don't think that's possible with what he's doing. He's very, very close to the surface. But uh. But yeah, I'm playing out all the dirt right now on the, all the sides, and then we will get started on the actual exciting part of it. Because right now, I'm basically just using up all the dirt I was paid. So I'm just hoping that Azuma's ready to pay me some dirt in return for this work. Fingers crossed. <laughs> so I've been playing around in my creative world. Obviously, that is the barn there. We've got some stalls. We've got some other secret stuff. My chicken over there. Build for hire and things like that. Just like, it's basically my little sketchbook in Minecraft. So when I come on here, you'll always see weird stuff in the background. Usually not spoilers. But yeah, you'll just see some stuff that maybe I've, you've seen before on the server. So yeah, uh, today uh, I was basically playing around 
with oak trees. And I thought, you know what? We can make a custom tree out of growing a normal tree. So this is a dark oak tree. I've added a whole bunch of logs to it. Very, very simple way of doing it. And look, I've got a custom tree. I've added some glowstone hanging from it, some cobwebs. We could add some vines and things like that, plant pots, flowers, grass, etc. And it looks awesome. So I'm going to go over to uh, Azuma's base now. We've let the grass grow, so we're really ready to go. I'm going to start building these trees around, um, probably on the diagonal. So like some over that corner and then some on the opposite corner, basically. And yeah, I think this is going to look really, really nice with his base, especially as he has used duck oak throughout it. So let's go and take a look at what this looks like in the actual build. Okay, so one live stream later and we have built loads and loads of trees, which is so, so awesome. Look at them. Over in this corner, they look pretty cool. I've had loads of vines, which I still need to put loads of string on, obviously. You know what I like to do, guys. I like to leave them be for ages and ages, and then go back and then put uh, actual um, string in place. Uh, sometimes it looks okay, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You just basically have to just test it out and try it out and, and see. And see what what you, what is your cup of tea, basically, I guess. So, uh, yeah, we've done the same here. I'm going to remove it from here because I don't want it to go inside, really. Is that going inside? Yeah, I don't want to go inside. And I, as you can see, yeah, there's basically vines everywhere, which is looking pretty sweet, actually. I really like it so far. So, yeah, we've got that going on. I'll probably go around the whole thing. Sawing out the vines in just a second, but yeah, we've got this little area here with the pond that he wanted it. Uh, this is basically it. I've stretched out that way towards the tree, and it looks really, really adorable. So now we have two more areas to do. We've got this small area here, which I'm thinking of doing like a bench kind of area. Uh, we need some leaves, but not actual trees in those, these two areas, because I think trees are opposite and then I'm gonna do like a little bit less detail opposite as well but this one's quite big so I'm not sh quite sure what to do here we'll try something out we'll see some things and hopefully it'll look cool but yeah also we did the this along the top as well which is looking pretty sweet we'll tweak it a little bit as well though but hey looks pretty cool from here oh there's some lag on the server and the creeper just walked out of Azuma's place and my micro is not even in the right place so I hope you guys can hear me oh my god the hell he just like wandered out of here, just casually, just wandered while I'm while I'm like going past. It's definitely too dark in here, though. Surely, you know what? I think some of these slabs might be quite dark, possibly. Oh, definitely, man. Wait, is this half sad? This is half sad, but that there's definitely an issue with lighting on here somewhere on these stairs. Maybe he came up from down here, though. So can dark down here. Oh, dude, it's definitely way too dark down here. Oh, man. Near redstone 2? Near redstone 2. Blimey, Azuma. Light it up, man. Light it up. Definitely, yeah. Bad things could have happened then. Bad things could have happened. Okay, whoever says Elytras aren't fun, especially with um, a jump boost, <laughs> is lying, because this is too much fun. I'm just, like, literally leaping around the place, like, woo, woo. Actually, wait, let's go in F. Let's go in F5 mode. Wow! Oh my god, I got lots of air. I got a lot of air. It doesn't look as nice. It doesn't look as good when you look in F5. It just it feels really, really great when you're doing that like this. It's, it's really fun. Anyway, uh, enough derping around and bouncing around like a rabbit. Here we are. We've done this one. This one's looking pretty wild, actually. It's pretty wild. I've got a feeling now I've started doing the other ones. I'm thinking maybe it's a bit too wild. But hey. We'll, we'll let Azuma be the judge of that. It's easy to add loads of stuff. Uh, actually, no. It's easier to take away loads of stuff than it is to add stuff. So if I add all the stuff that I think works, uh, then Azuma can easily take it away and choose exactly what he wants for the area. Uh, if he wants to change anything, he can do, and it should be cool. So yeah, I'm going to now do this area. I have no idea what to do on it yet. I'm actually still thinking about it. I don't know. I just need to get it done ASAP because I need to carry on packing because I'm away this weekend. If you're watching this Saturday, then uh, then yeah, I'm away. I'm not even in the country right now. I should be in Ireland, which should be cool, um, uh, for a, a convention called My Inventions. So that's what I'm up to right the second, probably. Uh, probably, actually, what time? What time is it? Hmm... I'll probably be eating dinner. I'm going to guess I'm going to be eating dinner when this episode goes up. In Ireland, hopefully. Fingers crossed everything works out okay and I'm doing exactly that. Because that sounds wonderful. Uh, but yes, yeah, so I should be having fun there. I haven't recorded a video for Tuesday yet, by the way. If there isn't a video Tuesday, 
that's the day I, I full day I have to record. So hopefully I'll get a video up for you guys. If not, it might be Wednesday or whatever. But yeah, yeah. Let's get on with what we're doing here. Maybe just add loads of grass? I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay, so one decision has been made, and that is that the water is going to continue this way, which, dude, it looks way better than I expected. I do want grass to cover the exterior of that, though. But yeah, I actually basically just dug a little area through here, which I might change a little bit, might tweak it. But yeah, basically water is coming along here like a little river. This is what I originally planned, but I wanted some kind of like way across. But instead I've just kind of hinted at the fact that maybe it goes under the path and then comes back out this side into a big pond, a huge pond. I might even make it bigger, who knows, and put a couple boats in it. That might be kind of cute actually, a couple of boats in here. Dude, I think that will be adorable. Oh my god, oh my god. Super adorable. <laughs> we'll have to wait and see though. Uh, let's quickly add a bit more water and check that this is the right size. Are you okay, Mr. Block? Are you going to go fine? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Wait, not quite done. Everything else working? Everything else seems to be working. Yeah, a couple of boats on that. Some leaves going around it. Some more sugar cane. Some more crops. Oh, dude. I think we, I think we figured it out. That is the one. That is the one. And also, this face is the side that you see the most. So, loads and loads of trees this side. A nice balance of not so much high stuff on this side. And uh, we should have a pretty good room actually saying that. I wonder how difficult it is to... No, you can still pretty much see through the trees outside. I wasn't wasn't sure if they would block it too much. Nah, should be okay. Should be okay. Okay, so all that needs to be done now is to put a sign up saying the... Uh, the gardens were made and maintained. I'm maintained by fault as well. I'm going to maintain these gardens because totally, you know, you need to do that in Minecraft, right, guys? You know, I'm totally just a groundskeeper as people keep calling me in my streams. Basically, when I just start working on, like, these areas, I just I just start adding stuff, okay? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It should be fine. But anyway, um, too many le too many bits of grass around here actually saying that. I don't know. Could be... should be fine. But not only am I going to do that, I'm going to write that sign off camera because I'm not quite sure I'm going to put on it just yet. We need to fire figure out a cool place for it as well. Not only that, in my build for hire, I'm actually going to... Try and figure out a place. Let's, let's zoom down here. We um, <laughs> we're gonna have to figure out a place. Maybe this wall here. We'll tweak it, and we'll have uh, have it as the completed orders. So completed. Uh, okay, I guess we're gonna have to put that orders. Completed orders, and then we'll put. One order from a zoomer up there. She's saying that we'll name that with an anvil. Do I have an anvil on me? I don't currently. I'll bring an anvil down here, actually. Uh, yeah, I'll have completed orders. And then I'll probably remove that chest as well. Uh, and probably just put fences there. Why not? Just put one fence there. <laughs> yeah, that looks okay. Completed orders. And then we'll have like a, a nice row. A nice row, column, whatever. I'm going to put those, those item frames up. That sounds pretty good. That sounds pretty good to me. But... Don't have any other orders currently. I'll have to fill that up with some more empty books just in case. Just in case someone ha someone comes with me comes to me with separate orders or something. I don't know. But uh, I'm gonna message Azuma say that you know I might tweak it still a little bit, but probably it's just gonna stay like it is. Uh, let me know if there's anything he wants changed, and yeah, I can get to it when I get back this uh, after the weekend. So that's pretty awesome. I'll let Azuma know about that. He'll let me know of anything he wants. Um, doing and also I just just seen it move out the corner of my eye. My horse stayed in there finally. Horsey, you're a weird one. I think I think because the server was a little bit glitchy and a little bit laggy, but he wasn't quite happy to stay in there. Let's let's take you out and then put you back in. Is he? Are you fixed? You look pretty fixed to me, Mister. Come with me. We're gonna we're gonna head back home. We're gonna I'm gonna take you with me. We'll finish with this job, Mister Horsey. He's like my workhorse. He's like the guy. No, saying that if when I'm working on projects like this, I should. Bring my uh, my mule that has a chest on it, or donkey, or something. That'd be a lot more handy. So saying that, you might have to retire after this one, horsey. I'm sorry, mate. Not you're fast, you know. But I need more storage because I brought my chest over here for now because I don't have enough time to move it all back to my base yet. But yeah. Okay, I'm going to do all that, and that is it, guys. Leave a like if you do enjoy this episode. Let me know if there's anything I could improve on. I think I went a bit OTT on it sometimes. I think I might just remove all the vines off of the building itself, but who knows? Who knows? That is sadly it for this episode. Leave a like if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already, and that is it, guys. Sadly, I'll catch you guys all next week, and I'll see you guys all later.
See ya. When Stanley approached the end of the video, he clicked the subscribe button.